foggy out here on the beautiful White River in northern Arkansas. And although we're going to be fishing for trout, the bottom rigs we're going to be using, they'll also work on the rivers that are located in Iowa and Illinois. Our guides for the trip are Pat Perdue and Jackie Dew, both of whom work out of the Bull Shoals Lake Boat Dock in Bull Shoals, Arkansas. The 20-foot-long John boats used for the White River float trips were designed and built locally, especially for this unique form of angling. Depending on the size of your party, the average cost of a White River float trip for a full day is between $70 and $90 per person. There are also half-day trips available for a smaller fee. The White River, which has been called America's best trout stream, has a constant water temperature of 55 degrees and is stocked with more trout per mile than any other stream in the world. While many of the float trips start a 20-mile trek from below the Bull Shoals Lake Dam, we decided to start at the famous White Hole. The trip wound down the river past scenic bluffs and beautiful landscapes for approximately 12 miles. Four popular species of trout are available, rainbow, brown, cutthroat, and brook. The daily limit is six trout of combined species with not more than two each at a minimum length of 16 inches for brown, cutthroat, and brook. Many of these fish grow to record size with two state records, a cutthroat weighing nine pounds, nine ounces, and a rainbow weighing 19 pounds, one ounce, being caught from the river. Well, we've got two on the pink one, bud. It is important to remember that a trout permit must be purchased in addition to a regular Arkansas fishing license. White River obtained its name from the early French trappers who called it La Riviere Blanc. During the 19th century, the White River was a major transportation artery. At that time, steamboats would pass along the water. Some fish. Last week, we just finished a good morning's fishing on the White River in Arkansas, and we're heading in for a shore lunch. Most of the float trip services provide a shore lunch. 
This can either be a prepared box lunch or an open fire cookout, which includes some of the morning's catch. White River Shore lunches have been favorably compared to those made famous in Canada. What we really want to do is give them the variety of scenery along with the catching, along with the fishing part of it. And then if it's a group of people itself, we want to make sure that we have the time element for noon lunch because they enjoy the fresh fish. So until next time, get out on the water and enjoy a great day of fishing.